Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative, and today we're gonna see a Java challenge about completable future. Okay, so that's the Java Challenger, and we have here uh, an executor. We have a completable future class, and we are using here the complete async then accept. And why the use of completable future is important? It's because it optimizes performance. You can execute two methods at the same time, and you can increase performance massively by using the feature of the completable future, OK? So I'm going to give you some time to think about this challenger, and let me know when you're ready. OK, guys, so you're ready? Sure, let's go. Yes, sir. Yes. OK, so let's see the answer. Oh, oh Rodrigo. Oh, 10. You're right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And there is a very well. Almost that. Yeah, I mean. The order like of that. execution. The order changes a little. Yeah, it's because it's a sync. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah guys. So. Guys, just to be honest with you, I just got this answer right by fluke, I would say. Oh, yeah, it was Rodrigo that gave you the answer. <laughs> yeah, both answers, both answers uh, follow the same, the, the same rule as you said. It's just by chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, I went with a 50-50 chance. OK, so let's see why it's this answer. So yeah, the important thing here to note is that those methods, they are asynchronous. So what does that mean? It means that we can run those methods at the same time on which makes we gain performance. So we can make our code far faster, OK? And what's happening here? So we are creating a string of sites, and then we are mapping out the strings to length, and then we are collecting uh, the whole list. But we are collecting a list of lengths. OK, so we have here the length of all strings. And then we accept the ratings. And we are dropping all the sites, all the, the string lengths that is lower or equals to 12. And then we're going to find the first one. And in our case, the only one that will uh, remain is Lombard Street that has exactly 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And yeah, we just find this element. And uh, one more thing that's important to mention is that the rating, so this message might come before or after. Yeah, so that's the, the answer. It's uh, rating 14, time to go home. Yeah, so let's just uh, run uh, this challenger with Docker as well. So that's the image we have. Just have to put the class name. So this is a very simple example, actually, with Docker. So we are basically saying here that we are starting from OpenJDK image, and we are defining this path as work actor, and we are compiling this uh, Java class, and then we are executing the completable future challenge. And then we're going to run that. Yeah, and as you can see here, it's the same output. So we are running the Java program inside the Docker container. OK, so Docker is very important. So that's why I decided to show Docker as well on the Java challengers. OK, so do you have uh, any questions about this challenger? Uh, my question is, if you have a list, to process in, in the in the then and the in the accept ratings the 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 part that it print time to go home would not always be the first to be shown because it don't demand the processment oh yeah yeah so this happens very well because we are dealing with different threads here so this thread from the completable feature can just finish before uh, 
of these uh, of the main thread. So this message can come first sometimes, and uh, this other message, this other uh, print can come first other times. So it depends on the JVM implementation. So it will always uh, vary. So it, it's not certain what is going to be uh, executed first. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but uh, that's because it's a thread. It's a different mm -hmm. thread. But uh, seeing the the amount of uh, of uh, uh, calculations on the the line above the print line, uh, what, what I see is that the, there is a list that is lots of uh, process to occur. So uh, and that's why I I I think the the print line will be always the first to finish because don't demand the processing. While when you are processing the list in other threads, you have a, some some loads to be processed because you have a list, you have it to calculate the length. Uh, so that's what I, I, I was thinking. The print line is very fast to the thread. So the thread will finish the first. I think you're right, Dorival, but uh, uh, what Rafa said is just more a kind of, if, 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 if there is a question like on a certification test, you would need to say that it's not 100% sure that you have uh, the same uh, result because you're dealing with thread. But in this, the, this uh, example that Rafael showed, maybe it's 9.99999 chance of doing this kind of result, but there is a 0 0.00001 that could be different. So you're, you're right on your assumption, but considering that you're dealing with threads, I think uh, that's what Rafa is trying to say. It's threads, so you, you can say 100% uh, sure. But I agree with you that assist uh, out is for sure it's, uh, it's easier to, to print than just make a, a loop and another loop and yeah yeah that's a good point so but uh, for certification if, I agree Thread Thre has no guarantee the order of the execution I think I think that is the main point for the guys for certification yeah even even though there is more uh, process here in this um, completable future uh, it's it's not it's not certain that this uh, message will be printed always first. So there's no way to know that. But, but uh, yeah, as uh, Rodrigo said, there is there are higher chances of uh, this statement to be printed first. But just keep in mind that it depends on the JVM implementation and threads are not predictable. Yes, that, that's, that's, that's good. I, I, I got the the two points in the 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 idea behind the the thread behavior. Very, very good explanation. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then, guys. So thank you. Uh, and I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay, guys. So that was the Java Challenger about completable future, and you could see that you can optimize performance of uh, methods that can be executed. Uh, concurrently by using completable future. So keep that in mind. And if you want to know more, you go to javachallengers.com. And don't forget to give a like to the video because it will help me out to deliver better content for you. And get subscribed as well, because in that way I can bring uh, more quality videos for you. Okay, so see you next time.